How to make the print effect. Today's video is sponsored by Julius Caesar. Open your clip in the Fusion page. Bring the Stylize node. Change the style to Illustrated Portrait, and set the scale to 3. Add a Brightness and Contrast node. Bring down the Saturation slider, and the rest is up to your taste. Play around with the sliders to find out what works best for you. Add a Bitmap node in Empty Space. Disconnect your clip from the media, out and connect it to the bitmap. Change the channel to Luminance, and check the Invert box. Add a Fast Noise, and connect the bitmap as a mask to the noise. Go to the color tab, and change the second color to black also. Back to the noise tab, set the scale slider to 500, and increase the detail and the seethe rate. Bring a paper texture image to your flow. If you need to resize it, just add a resize node. Connect the paper texture to the media, out node. Add a merge node, and connect the fast noise as a foreground. At this point you'll need to go to the brightness, the bitmap, and the fast noise node, and experiment with the sliders. In the bitmap node, increase the soft edge slider if you want to blur your image a bit. Once you are satisfied with the result, add a transform node between the paper texture and the merge. Change the edges to mirror, right-click to the angle slider, modify it with shake, and go to the modifiers tab. Bring down the smoothness slider, and set the maximum to 360. And for the last step, after the merge node, add a time machine node. For this you'll need to install the reactor plugin and activate the time machine tool. Change the mode to skip, and set the skip value to 3. If you liked this clip, subscribe to this channel. If you didn't, then you don't.